Current models of the early universe, which have long shaped our understanding of cosmology, may be facing serious challenges. The recent discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope are offering glimpses into cosmic phenomena that defy our established theories about how the universe evolved shortly after the Big Bang. This telescope, the most powerful space observatory to date, has revealed mysterious structures in the early cosmos that should not exist based on our existing models. These structures, which include six massive galaxies, appear far too large and dense to fit within the current understanding of the universe's formation. Traditionally, it's believed that the cosmos, including galaxies, grew incrementally in size and complexity over billions of years. The idea is that galaxies formed by absorbing nearby gas clouds or by merging with other smaller galaxies, steadily accumulating mass and structure. However, the galaxies that Webb identified, which date back a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, already possess masses comparable to today's large galaxies like the Milky Way. This leaves scientists questioning. How did they reach such massive proportions in such a short time? One explanation is that the density of matter in the young universe might have been two to five times greater than previously thought, providing more building blocks for early galaxies. Another theory posits that these galaxies may have grown by a process currently unknown to us, one that might have allowed for rapid mass accumulation. If either of these explanations is correct, our understanding of galactic evolution would need substantial revision. Even more puzzling is the discovery of a black hole over a billion times the mass of our Sun in a galaxy that formed roughly 770 million years post-Big Bang. Black holes of this magnitude were thought to require much longer to accumulate their immense mass as the conventional theory holds that they grow slowly by pulling in matter. But in this case, it seems the growth rate of the early black holes could be far beyond what our current understanding allows. This discrepancy raises the possibility of a unique growth mechanism at play during the universe's infancy, one that may differ drastically from those observed today. This discovery also challenges long-standing ideas about the feeding process of black holes. Supermassive black holes in the centers of galaxies, such as quasars, are known to emit intense radiation from their accretion disks. This radiation, generated as the black hole consumes matter, also pushes back on the surrounding material, effectively regulating how quickly the black hole can grow. However, the existence of early supermassive black holes suggests that some black holes were able to bypass this regulatory process, perhaps by accreting gas with extraordinary efficiency or possibly through processes we have yet to uncover. In fact, past theories may have inadvertently overestimated the masses of distant quasars due to the presence of cosmic dust, which could skew measurements. With the advanced capabilities of the Webb Telescope, including its mid-infrared imaging, scientists can now peer into these early quasars with unprecedented detail. Its powerful mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, is up to 4,000 times more precise than earlier telescopes, enabling astronomers to capture not only images, but also the spectral data of quasars. For example, the quasar named J. 120 plus 0641, located at the farthest reaches of space, was recently imaged by Webb. To scientists' surprise, despite its extreme mass, it exhibited a shockingly normal appearance, with both its dust ring and accretion disk resembling those of modern quasars. This suggests that supermassive black holes and their growth mechanisms may have been fully formed and operating when the universe was a mere 5% of its present age. These findings compel scientists to confront a larger question. If our theories about the universe's early development 
appear inaccurate? Could our entire understanding of its origin also be flawed? For decades, the Big Bang Theory has provided a framework for explaining how space, time, and matter emerged from a single point around 13.8 billion years ago. Yet this theory is not without its unresolved mysteries. One problem is that the Big Bang model implies an infinitely dense state at time zero, conflicting with quantum mechanics' uncertainty principle, which posits limits to precision in measurements. Alternative theories have emerged to address these issues. One is the Big Bounce theory, which envisions the universe as undergoing endless cycles of expansion and contraction. According to this model, rather than a single creation event, the cosmos continually cycles through phases of birth, death, and rebirth. Some researchers, like Nikodem Poplowski from the University of New Haven, propose an even more radical possibility, that our universe might have been born within a black hole in a prior universe. In this scenario, a primordial seed containing vast amounts of compressed matter could have burst forth, giving rise to a new universe. This theory implies that the universe might exist within a complex, interconnected multiverse, with each cosmos potentially giving rise to another. These discoveries and theories signify that we may be only at the beginning of truly understanding the cosmos's formation, evolution, and perhaps even the possibility of other universes. The James Webb Space Telescope continues to offer insights that challenge existing paradigms, prompting a re-evaluation of fundamental concepts and ushering in a new era of cosmic exploration.